Hello, my lovely Cancerians, and a very warm welcome to your March 2022 horoscope. Now, the month starts out on the 2nd with a lovely new moon happening for you here in the ninth house. There's a lot happening in the ninth house this month, my lovely Cancerians, and the ninth house has to do with travel. So some of you may be planning a travel, going on a spontaneous trip, going on a very long trip because the ninth house involves long trips. Or you may be traveling and or in greater depth on your spiritual journey, going deeper into what's the meaning of my life? What do I want to teach? What do I want to share? What do I want to learn? It's a wonderful time for writing, for getting that book written, your memoir, for sharing a blog, for sharing something that you feel is very important. On the seventh of the month, we've got Venus and Mars moving together into your eighth house. And Venus and Mars together are wonderful. It's great for romance, for love, for a new romance, for taking a relationship onto a deeper, more meaningful level, for exploring intimacy in new ways in your relationships. It's a wonderful time here with all this activity in the eighth house for researching for getting to the bottom of things. It could be a good time for some investments. You might be investing in something quite new. You might be exploring new cryptocurrencies, new bartering techniques, new ways of working with money and finance and business. It's a really good time for maybe looking at a partnership working with a group of people or one person on a project that's really important to you. Dream big and bigger. You can accomplish much more than you can believe. And on the 10th of the month, Mercury coming to join the party in this ninth house. So you may have an important message to share. You might need to speak out and say what is really important to you, speaking the truth, speaking up for justice. This may be a real theme for you this month. On the 18th of the month, we've got a lovely full moon happening here in this third house for you. Balancing out all this outer activity, shining a light on your mindfulness. Are you conscious? Are you aware? Are you looking at your mind patterns, your monkey mind that rushes you around here and there and everywhere? Can you take yourself into a deeper meditation maybe? You might be making some short travels, short trips. You might be connecting with neighbors all around you. And you may be saying, hey, I need to learn some new skills. And what are those skills that I'd like to learn? On the 21st of the month, we've got the sun coming into your 10th house and on the 28th, Mercury joining the sun. So this is a great time for some of you will be really doing well in your career, shining in your work. It's a great time for really focusing on how can I shine wherever I go, whether it's the supermarket, the beach, into nature. Am I shining my light? How can you shine more of your beautiful light, dear Cancerians? You might be meeting some weird and wonderful people. Open yourself to all kinds of different frequencies this month could be very stimulating and very exciting. So I wish you a wonderful month and I thank you for liking,
commenting, sharing and subbing. Bye for now.